Index card a day, number eight, Choose Joy by Creative Katie. Take time to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss any other videos. So I took some De my Delta Ceram coat, brown, dark brown paint, and painted the card. Now I'm applying Folk Art Crackle Medium with my palette knife, a very fine layer. This needs to dry, but since I can't wait, I'm using the heat tool and it doesn't seem to affect it at all. On the side, you can see me, I have some white paint and I'm just adding a little bit of water to make sure that it sp spreads easier. And I'm adding some of the brown paint just to make it just that little bit of off white. I'm going for an overall antique vintage look on this card. So the key here is to put it on in a single swipe and not go over any areas. Because as you can see that as soon as you spread it, it starts to crackle. And if you go over it again, you will affect that and it will mark up. So you can see the crackling that happens there. So I'm just going to clean up my mess and it's dry. After it crackled for a bit, I used a heat tool and I'm picking out a couple of my browns, which I'm going to use with my script stamp. So I sprayed it very lightly with a mister and applied the intense blocks and I'm spreading it. Now it didn't work so I'm getting rid of it very quickly. Not too much water. So loving that look. It looks like old wood and now we have the script and I'm using a flower again with the brown intense blocks. I got the idea for the composition of this or the background and the colors from a printable that you'll see later. So now I'm getting my intense blocks out and I want to get that same color as the butterfly. I'm going to be cutting out that butterfly. So I'm cl cleaning off the ink tents off of my stamps. And I'm looking for a kind of a curly Q stamp. So I'm using the ink tents block. I'm just testing it out and it's a little too blue. I wanted a little bit more green. So pick a different block and try that out. It's more the color. I just need it a little bit wetter. So I'm spraying it. You can't see that the spray bottle is off camera. I'm just putting some colors and swirly cues just to get that color in there. And then drying and heat setting. Now the intense blocks, depending on if I waited a day, it might have been dry, but you'll see later when I um, go to um, glue things down, it does activate a little bit. You just have to be very careful. So I'm cutting out this printable and I don't know where it came from. I know Yvonne Gaybauer, my friend Yvonne, had it on her Pinterest board, free printables. And I found it and I fell in love with the butterfly and the whole background. So at this point, I wasn't sure if I was going to use the flower as well as the butterfly. But I can tell you right now that this is something that I will definitely do on a canvas. I love the color combination. I think it will look beautiful on a canvas. So I will be attempting that. And that's one of the fun things with doing ICADs or ATCs. You can totally um, try things out, different color combination, different techniques. And if you really like it, then you can use that as a springboard to doing a canvas.
So after looking through my stamps, I decide that a simple Choose Joy would work well. And I just stamped it with my stays on on some deli paper. And I'm going to cut it out fairly close to the lettering. I want to remove as much of the deli paper as possible because I do not want to see it. And I want to see anything that's from the background come, come forward. This would also make a beautiful card. So I'm using my gel medium and there you can see how it reactivated but it didn't really affect anything on my card. If you were going to go over that, you could use a um, fixative before you did anything on top of it. You could use a spray fixative. I try to avoid that because it tends to set off my migraines. I got my Posca pen and I'm just going to go on the letters black. I could have done it with brown and I might if I do that when I do this again I might use the use a brown and on a canvas I more than likely would be using a liner brush and painting Choose Joy on. Getting out my Stabilo all pencil and just Outlining the butterfly, giving it a bit of a smudge, and then I'm going to activate it with water on a small round brush. And again, this is one of those little details that when you do it, it makes a world of difference. Giving it a quick dry. I'm edging it with the Inktense block in the aqua color. And I'm just wetting the block and then rubbing it onto the card. I'm thinking if I had done the swirl, if I had planned this better, I would have done the swirl so it looked like that was the butterfly's path. So I'm showing you and I'm thinking, oh, this is done and I love it. And then I decide, nope, I'm not done. I'm pulling in Yvonne and I'm going to use my pouring medium and go over top of the butterfly. And this is just going to make the butterfly shine. I did put an extra coat even after this once this was fully dry and it just shines and it just stands out and just gives it that little extra something. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you come and join me again for ICAD number nine.